Everybody ask me to test the fast bike. Here goes the fastest bike on this channel. Motor Goat. Let's go. And that's how it will look from the top. And this look from the side. Inside you'll find a real nice case. Inside the case you'll find different tools for assembly. 4M charger, the passenger foot packs. And also you'll find the lock for the rear wheel with the keys. There will be also a user manual and display manual as well. The second box will have additional mirror. Also the packs and side signals with axle for the front wheel and headlight. And in this box you'll find the largest battery which is uh, 60 volt by 25 amp. 1500 watt hours. You'll find the axle which you would need to insert in the wheel in order to attach the wheel. And make sure you attach correctly. There should be some pictures with the instruction. You just insert it inside from one side. Uh, removing the fork protector and then installing the front wheel make sure you do it very carefully not to damage the fork and the brakes touch the spacer correctly the smaller one should come from the side of the brakes then you will take a washer and nuts and reattach and tighten them up well the next step will be to removing the steam bracket with the allen key which is six millimeters you can grab the handlebar and attach to the steam with the same bracket you just removed with the four bolts. All those bolts need to be checked with a new meter torque to make sure they are properly attached and secured. The next step to attach the front fender with a bolt you remove from the fork. You will attach the turn signals and usually you do it only by hand, removing the nut and reattaching to the mounting and the hole should be closer to the fork the one you are touching. Then you will install the headlight by removing these two bolts first. And here's how it's supposed to look. And the letter should be on the top. You would uh, connect the three cables. One is for headlight and two for turn signals. If you buy the bike with no pedals, you will have a PEX, which you need to attach right to the right and left to the left and tighten up with a screwdriver. I also attach the rear foot uh, PEX and it looks like this. So install this uh, handlebar rear view mirrors with the mounting it came with. It's pretty simple, just attaching them and insert this uh, mirror with a bolt and retighten. You just need to readjust the position is best fit to you. It's pretty simple, but it will take some time to adjust it. And if you need to see more detailed video of assembly, please check link in description. And that's how Motor Goat V3 will look once you assemble it. I did attach the mirror, the pegs, and I don't have a pedal. So if you choose the pedals, it will look with pedals, of course, but I put a pegs in uh, the original, but you can find the red color I think they have, and also the gold, which I might switch later on. So I want to show you how it will look, I'm 5'11". So I can basically not only put my feet completely on the floor, but also bend a little bit knees. So I think somebody will be like five, six and above can still fit this bicycle. My wife, five, eight, she can uh, reach the ground, but probably with touching like this a little bit. So again, uh, I might find later on. So if you subscribe to my channel, you will see if I find somebody who is five, six to try the bicycle to sit on it. But Everything about the bicycle is just love because uh, let me go over this bicycle. The seat is pretty comfortable. I already have some ride on it. The battery, I thought it's going to be looking like much larger and I thought it's going to be like ugly first, like on a picture, but actually it's a really cool design and you don't really feel the battery. It's not on your way. So it's a little bit higher than uh, V2 model, the one I have, which I'm going to probably do compare so you can see the difference but i can see a lot of improvement so the handlebar is 29 inches wide it's like motorcycle actually set up uh, you have a key ignition right over here which you need to turn it on in order to start the bicycle 
as you turn it on and then you press this uh, power button over here on the left side the bicycle will be on but if you don't press the button the display will be off but you will still have a headlight on but it will be only on the side and once you turn on the bicycle on then here's the headlight so you got low dim and high dim then you also get a uh, turning signals like this and you're also getting uh, tail light brake light and turning signals right now it's the right side if you switch to the left the same orange one will turn on on the left side and here's the setup so here's a horn it's kind of funny actually horn remind me like uh, when the car going backward so also this is a headlight um, low dim or high dim switch or between it will be turning off over here turning signals left right or middle will be turning off and over here it's an emergency light when you push on it let me show what will happen you push on this and both uh, signals on the front and rear will be turned on and as you can see that's emergency light which actually i never saw on the electric bicycle like that it does come with a full throttle and right now i'm at pedal assist level zero so it will not work which is good it does come with a five pedal assist level uh, zero to five so it will basically provide you a different power for every pedal assist level different speed because you don't want to start riding this bicycle at a higher speed it will be too torquey probably um, you may fall off from the bike if you're first time riding an electric bicycle so pedal assist level one would be probably the best way to start it would be going about up to 10 miles an hour which is pretty safe for this bicycle to start to ride it on it, it has a hydraulic fork uh, looks like 80 to 100 millimeter travel on the front and also come with compression adjustment and also preload on the side which you can adjust if you need to and it also comes with a rear shock fast taste brand i believe 550 pounds uh, load and uh, you do have some adjustment over here and adjustment over there so uh, i did not do any adjustment and i will just go right as it came from the box but later on i will play with this uh, shock to see to make it you do have uh, options to make it faster response or uh slow response over here and over here maybe adjustment of the shark uh how it will be softer or firmer it comes with uh, both fenders but the rear fenders is a full fender as you can see it's a plastic but the front one it's also plastic but it's more like a motocross style going front and then you have over here protection so you will not get mud on you okay so it's more like motocross style and it makes the look much better this way and about the tires the tires are by innova and it's uh, not just 20 by 4 it's 20 by 4.5 so it's actually pretty fat tires and it's a sport tires which uh, should grab the road much better and i could feel it when i was braking so it's like just grab the road really good and you can see it's not thin so um, i'm not sure how bad with puncture gonna be in the future i'm not planning to put any sealant so far because it looks like a nice traction on this uh, tires and they looks really good for me and you can find a uh, tire pressure on the side recommended 10 to 15 psi but the maximum they can hold up to uh, 30 psi and i put uh, now about 20 six on the front and 29 on the back uh, the higher pressure you're gonna put in the tire then better speed you're gonna get then battery will last longer because less friction gonna be frame it's aluminum also the handlebar aluminum so the wheels are probably magnesium and maybe aluminum i'm not 100 sure but uh, the weight about this bicycle the bike weight 90 pounds without the battery the battery weight almost 17 pounds so it is large battery and the battery can be charged on the bike over here is a port for charging and on the top of the battery is this button when you push you will see blue so blue it means the battery is charged 
once you see the green you it's kind of time to charge it and when it's red you better charge it uh, the battery is pretty large it's like 1500 watt hours and uh, you can also install the second battery right over here so you get i believe like 2700 watt hours and they do sell the battery there is also attachment on this side but i was told that the second battery will not fit over here and here's a 2000 watt motor with 60 volt system it is direct drive so direct drive a little bit different and they usually don't have as much torque versus to geared motors but we're gonna check it out to see how good this bike climbing the hill because it's supposed to be 110 new meter torque which a lot of power actually about the brakes there by ron gun hydraulic uh then uh front brake will be located on the right side and the rear wheel will be on the left uh it comes with a four piston and um 203 millimeters which is large and they're pretty thick actually and you do need to make alignment basically to release this to both a little bit and align it there's nothing wrong with the brakes it will take some time to align even right now i only adjust the rear one i didn't have time to do a front it does need some turning as any electric bicycle or any bicycle actually so the motor goat comes with a lock it's a wheel lock i guess uh, over here you remove this uh, cover and use a the key they come with two key to open it you would remove this part and you can store it on this side like this and close it okay but then if you want to lock it up you would just uh, insert right over here and it will have a pin like this so you would just insert over here first okay and then you just push it turn the key and now it's locked you just close this rubber so in case of the rain or anything and then to unlock it it's simple insert the key push it and turn it remove it remove the pin and insert it the same way as you did i think you need to keep the pin in so it will be less uh, moving around while you're riding so you're gonna find discount code in description 10 percent off and um, check the link the discount should work on the battery if you want to buy extra battery if you want to buy different type of uh, color of the packs if you have so the 10 percent should work on any of the uh, product and not only get familiar with the bike but also assembly and turning up the bicycle like uh brakes and derailer everything it should be done actually by a professional at the shop if you can take it there but if not if you know how to do that it's up to you now the bike is ready for a ride so i'm gonna take it for hill test also the speed test and just uh, whole experience to see how fast the bicycle can go on a flat road and also uphill Oh yes, it's very torquey. So first I'm gonna go for the speed test and then check it out how the bicycle performs. There's a front brake. But I'm gonna go with this short road first and then we're gonna go to the probably it's the real street test. So let's see right now all zeros and gonna go to pedal assist level five i think it's a top speed right now should be and let's go so it's 19 22 24 27 29 31 32, 33 25 So about 35 this way, I didn't want to go too far because this road I'm gonna turn around. So 35 is actually pretty good and I already rode on this bike for 6 miles 
since the time I charge the battery and uh, this way I might be able to go further but we'll see the stop sign but let's see how fast I can go also I didn't adjust the front brake so the front brakes a little bit give you friction 31, 32, 33, 35 and I go with a GPS basically so 42 was the top speed so far but I I totally forgot to change uh, the um, wheel diameter so I need to go and change to 23 actually check out the brakes basically I think uh, going with uh, 40 miles an hour you have to hold real good on the handlebar otherwise you may fly away <laughs> it's really good stopping but I'm gonna go about let's say 5, 7, 8, so 30, 55, that's enough, you know, here, and then breaking, and it's just about uh, under 3 meters, so it's very good actually, um, um, like about 3 meters, but again, I didn't push it as hard, because I didn't want to just fall away, I need to get used to the braking, because they're very um, strong so you just push them a little bit and they stop really good so that's what i recommend to do first riding faster to learn how to brake because the braking is one of the things you want to learn first on this bike and the next we're gonna go to the steep hill test so and again, I didn't adjust the front brake, so it does have some friction, so it's uh, not only making a little bit noise, but it needs some alignment, which I'm going to do later on, it takes some more time, and I recommend to take it to the shop to adjust it if you don't know how to, a hydraulic brake. Um, they might need the first time, and then it should last for a, for a long time without no adjustment, should be fine for a long time. But uh, the first experience with this bike is like amazing because it's like really quick acceleration on this bike. The fork were really good. When you start to accelerate, you can feel like the rear shock just going a little bit down under you. So you like uh, really and the fork. Really, so it's uh, give a really good like acceleration on this bike. So I'm very close to the hill. So I have about 8.9 miles on the battery. So I charge it about. I charge it fully, but right now it's almost nine miles. So it's not fully charged. Basically, as any bicycle I tested, and I weigh 250 pounds, 215 pounds, and we're gonna go and see how actually it perform uphill let's go baby see if it can climb because direct drive is not usually powerful enough for hill area so we need to see if it can handle a good speed still need to get used to the mirror use and basically everything like uh, you need to adjust before you start to ride the bicycle mostly for the first time but i'm gonna stop here on the stop sign yes stop sign i'll stop and put it on the pedal assist level 5 that's a top speed it can climb probably more power actually should be produced as well and let's go so it's going up to hill so far 90 20 miles but then it should slow down but so far 21 20 18 so it's still pulling strong and 
This hill is actually on soil. 16. Oh man, 15. But still, let's see, it's not reducing. So that's it, 15 miles an hour. And actually, that's a record ever made up to this hill. Well, right now, yeah, 15 miles an hour, very solid. And based on GPS, because every display you sometimes show differently, I use the same GPS app. So it's uh, 15 miles now, all the way up to the hill, which uh, pretty fast. Uh, let's say uh, most of the 1,000 watt motors would go up to eight miles an hour. That I believe eight was the top. Some of them actually made it like nine, I believe. I don't remember, like like somebody, but. That I would say eight miles usually is the maximum. On so this one is almost double speed, so it's actually still powerful. And I'm gonna go further. I will not stop for review and stuff. I'm gonna ride it more because uh, I'm gonna go here. I've never been here. It's uh, the, uh, maybe I've been here, I think, once. So, we'll go for a longer ride and see, like, I mean, uh, the top speed, I can get more speed out of it. But 42 miles, actually, it's pretty fast. I expect about 40 miles with my weight on. So, I weighed 215 pounds, but when I left my house, I weighed it with a close on. I was 218. Yes, and I have a lunch, so 218 pounds, and it's just going. And the battery is still at 0%, which is great. Let's see if you can ride over here. It's a longer stretch. So, let's see if I can ride over here with long stretch. So, about 22, but there's a car, you see, stop. And then I have actually 31. Six, I'm still ready on the braking, I don't want to just fly away. And what, 27, 20, 31, I can feel like uh, like wind resistance, uh, 34, 35, 36, let me see if I can just move forward, we're going to be from here, 27. On this place is 39, but I think it's 38 and half maybe, but I'm just going up here like 33, almost like fly up to the field. And I'm gonna try to see how fast I can go on this road. So about 24, 25. I'm gonna go as a car because actually I'm going to speed the same as a car usually here. 35, 36, 37, 38. Actually, it's holding the road really good, um, amazingly, like, wow. So, I can ride as one second in the middle of the road over here, I guess. I just might get in trouble. Uh, 
because it's going to the speed like a car. I think the top speed was here 40 miles, so I was going up to 46, that's what it says here. Hit 46, you probably could see it better than me right now because I didn't really pay attention. Since you guys want to see 0 to 20, also I will retest with the strength number 5. And uh, all the previous video was shot on the strength number 3. And I adjust also the brakes now, the front one and the rear, so there will be less friction. So we're gonna test it for the short distance and also 0 to 20. Right now I put a pedal assist level 5, the top speed. I'm gonna count 3 to 0 and go. 3, 2, 1. Go! 16 20, 31 33 34 35 36 37, 38 So now it's cheaper, 38 on the short distance, so it does give you better mileage and speed. So now I'm gonna test it 0 to 20, and I notice my odometer keeps skipping the 20 and jump to 22. So I'm gonna use a new odometer which um, will check the speed on it as well. But the I changed to 22.8 wheel diameter and now it's the most accurate information and I noticed a diameter on GPS sometimes lagging so I actually I'll go with 20 miles an hour based on display because it's more accurate and I adjust it to most accurate on the longer distance right as well so I'm gonna start with this odometer 2, 1, go! 10, 12, 13, 17, 18, 20 and let's see how fast based on display and now it's 33, 34 37 I have to turn it off so it hit 38 miles an hour as well and check the back I added on this bike also the golden packs looks amazing I think this bike performed really great. The top speed was up to 46 miles an hour. And I think it can go even faster on the longer road. And 0 to 20 was only under 5 seconds. It's amazing riding this bike. Very comfortable. Stable on the road even with the higher speed. So they will have some price increase. So if you're interested, grab it as soon as possible. Check the link in description. Also for discount code. There will be additional discount. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.